This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz of the Global Fixed Income Research Group. We monitor potential rating action trends by looking at the gap between the number of entities poised for downgrades and the number of entities poised for upgrades. Potential downgrades are entities rated AAA through B- that have either negative rating outlooks or ratings on Credit Watch with negative implications. We define potential upgrades as issuers that are rated AA plus through B- with either positive rating outlooks or ratings on Credit Watch with positive implications. The gap between the potential downgrades and potential upgrades widens when the number of entities poised for a downgrade increases or the number of entities poised for an upgrade decreases, both of which are indicators of eminent stress. For Europe, this gap spiked in 2009 during the global financial crisis. The gap at the end of April 2014 was significantly narrower than it was in 2009 and is also smaller than the region's trailing 10-year average. The reason this gap widened in 2014 is because the number of potential bond downgrades increased to 154 in April, while the number of potential bond upgrades has remained fairly stable. While the bank sector has the highest negative bias in the region, the high technology sector has the highest positive bias at 26 percent. Four of the 20 sectors on our potential downgrades list, banks, metals, mining and steel, sovereign and telecommunications, showed a higher level of downgrade risk than they have historically. When we measured the gap between their current negative bias and historical averages, we found that each sector's negative bias is higher than its historical average. Meanwhile, 16 sectors led by capital goods showed higher upgrade potential because their positive biases exceeded their historical averages. You can find more information in the report titled, Potential Downgrades Exceeded Potential Upgrades in Europe During April. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.